Hi, welcome to Bookkeeping Basics. My name is Alison Mead from Silicon Bullet and I'm here to help you fall in love with your bookkeeping. In this episode of Bookkeeping Basics, I'm going to talk about managing your expenses. This is often something that you can think about later when you're doing your bookkeeping and you don't have to deal with straight away, but you need to make sure that you keep copies of receipts and keep accurate records so that your accounts can be sorted later. But it's much better if you can enter your expenses and payments as you go along. Some businesses might well start and have lots of expenses before they even start raising invoices. And if you haven't kept an accurate record of your expenses, you will basically just end up paying too much tax. It might be mileage, it might be package and postage, it might be stock that you've had to buy. Even if you're not making any money yet, keep a track of any expense that could vaguely be to do with your business as it's going to help you in the long run. You don't don't need to keep actual paper copies of receipts and invoices. Photos and PDFs is absolutely fine, but you do need to make sure that you keep accurate backups. Don't just keep it on your mobile phone, back it up to your PC. And also, don't just keep it on your PC hard drive, maybe add something in the cloud or have accurate backups. Because you do need to keep records of these receipts, especially if you're a VAT registered business, for up to six years. And if you ever had an HMRC inspection, they will expect to see the copies. They won't need to see the originals but you'd need to make sure you haven't lost them. When you're snapping pictures on your phone and you upload it to your PC, help yourself out in the long run by renaming the files, maybe with the supplier name, the amount and the date, so that when you see the amounts going through your bank account or you're doing a bank reconciliation later, which is something I'm going to cover in the next episode, you can actually find the receipts really easily. Also, record how you paid. Was it cash? Was it a debit card? Was it a credit card or PayPal? That will also make your reconciling easier. And when you're first starting out, you might be paying for a lot of stuff personally. Make sure you record all of that and then put that through your business so that you can then, when your business starts making money, you can reclaim it later. Also, what I do is I receive a lot of emails with PDF invoices on. And when they come in, I'm not always ready to deal with them. I've created a subfolder in my email package that says bookkeeping. And then once a week, I will sit and go through that and make sure I've covered everything. Amazon are the biggest problem as a bookkeeper. They are a complete pain in the backside. You might make one order and it might then be split into many payments. And also asking for VAT invoices later can be a real pain. So just make sure when you do your online purchases, be thinking about the VAT invoices if you need them and be thinking about the records as you go along. With the online accounting packages, they also help to make things easy for you as well. There's packages like HubDoc, AutoEntry, Receipt Bank. What these allow you to do is upload images of the JPEG or the PDF. They go into the package. You then will train the package to say what that's for, why you spent it, and it will mean then that when you buy something from that person in the future, it can then feed that data into Xero or Sage or whatever accounts package you have, and it can remember it for you to save you having to key things in. I don't know what you're like, but as I'm reaching my 40s, getting close to my 50s, my eyesight's getting worse and worse. So anything that can automate and make sure it goes through automatically is good for me. Also, a lot of packages will have an app on your phone. And I know with Xero, they're updating their mobile phone app all the time. So it does mean that you can snap pictures on the go and upload them into your accounts. So even if you feel you haven't got a proper business yet, or if you're not ready to have an accounts package, keep those records so that you or whoever you choose to do your bookkeeping has got all the records to hand and can record all those expenses. Not recording your expenses effectively basically just means you will pay more tax. To find out more and to get all the episodes from this podcast, then subscribe to me on your favourite podcast platform. Look for Bookkeeping Basics. To get more zero and sage tips and advice then go to blog.siliconbullet.com or look for me on silicon bullet on youtube where you will see